We are doing a workout today focused on the upper body using weights. So I'm gonna use a combination of five pound and 10 pound today. So I want you to have possibly a light set and a heavy set. Your light set may be three pounds and your heavy set might be five. So anything works that you have. You can even just use bottles of water or cans of soup, okay? So we just want enough that we're gonna give the arms and the upper body a nice workout. So you're gonna start standing. I'm gonna grab my 10 pounds here. And you can do all of this seated as well, okay? So you have lots of options. I'm gonna have one foot forward and one foot back. So I have a little staggered stance. And we're gonna start with a bicep curl. So again, this is meant for beginners Anyone can benefit though, and you can just up the weights if you're experienced in weightlifting. But again, I want this to be really comfortable for people who are just starting out on a journey using weights. So again, you can do this seated. You can do it sitting on a box, on a step, in a chair, on the ground if you need to. So I'm gonna exhale up and inhale down and you'll see them going nice and slow so we're just going to keep a slow consistency here as well to get your body used to this so weights have so many benefits they are going to help prevent osteoporosis so they will help with bone health and bone strength obviously using weights will help develop your muscles and strengthen this not only will help keep you strong but it also will help you burn more calories during the day if that's a goal for you because muscle is going to burn more throughout the day. It will help with your balance. It will help with your posture. It will help with injury prevention. It even helps with our memory and our brain health. Okay, go ahead and bring it back down. Nice job. Now from here, just go ahead and switch which foot is in front, okay? And we're gonna do one more set. So palms are still forward and you're gonna bend and then straighten. So this video is going to kind of give you the basics. We're gonna do a bicep curl. We're gonna do a little work for your triceps. We'll do a little work for your shoulders and then for your back around your scapula as well. Okay, so again, it's gonna give you that upper body strength training so you can start to feel comfortable using weights. The other thing to know is a really good option. You can always start with one set of weights and then change it. So if you start with your heavy set and you get fatigued, you just go right to the light set. <clears throat> Think also about trying to have the same speed coming up as you do going down and keep your elbows in at your sides. So shoulders are back and down elbows in at your sides. Let's do two more. Two. Last one. And down. Nice job. Give your shoulders a roll up and down. Very nice. So we're going to bring our arms up here. So again, palms are facing forward and you're going to press them overhead and back down. So now I have my feet underneath my shoulders. And again, do this seated, okay? Don't let anything stop you in that way. So don't think, oh, this is hard for my balance or hard for my knees, I just can't do it. No, go ahead and sit in a chair and do it. You can still get the benefits. Nice job, so I'm pressing straight overhead. Coming back down, the weights come about to shoulder height, and then I'm pressing back up again. This is what it looks like from the side. Make sure that your back doesn't arch as the arms go up, and if it does, if you really, really, really have to arch your back to push those weights up, then the weights are probably too heavy. Just go lighter. Okay, last two. <clears throat> And last one. Nice job, bring those back down. And we're gonna set one of the weights down and keep one. So I'm gonna have it in my right hand. My left foot is forward and my right foot is back. You can have your left hand on a kitchen counter or on a chair for balance. 
And what you're gonna do is pull the elbow up and back down. So let me show your, you an alternative. You can do this right here, okay? If you'd like to be a little lower or you're more comfortable down here, that's fine. Bring the knee down. Otherwise, you're here. So you'll see I'm just leaning forward slightly. Squeeze the shoulder blade into your back as you pull the hand up. Last two, one, nice job. We'll go ahead and switch sides. So your right foot is forward, your left foot is back and pull up. So what we're doing with this routine, again, as it's meant for beginners and for anyone to feel comfortable we're doing isolated movements, meaning something like this. It's only a row. When we started, we only did a bicep curl, really being able to focus. And that's a really, really great place to start so that your brain and your body don't get overwhelmed. And then one way we progress over time is we would start to combine movements. So maybe, for example, we're combining a lunge just like this we go down and up so we're not doing that in this workout but it's always nice to see how you can progress things over time otherwise you can always stay right here with this too nice take a break and come back in very good all right and we're gonna take that weight and I want you to bring it overhead so again I'm gonna stagger my feet so I have one foot forward and one back, and I'm holding this one weight in both hands. My elbows come into my ears. All right, so my elbows are facing forward, they're right into my ears, and I'm pressing the hands up and down, trying to keep my elbows exactly where they are in space. So here too, just try to keep yourself in that nice, tall, upright position. This as well, you can just do seated in any way that's most comfortable for you. Don't be afraid to go down to a really light weight. Three, two, one. Nice job, bring yourself out of that position and we're going to do one more here for our shoulders so we're going to go back to both weights feet are again underneath your shoulders and now my elbows are bent my palms are facing each other and i'm coming out to the side so we're doing a lateral shoulder lift here for our deltoids So as you fatigue, I'm starting to feel my arms definitely fatiguing, and this is a harder motion for me. So if I find that I can't keep my form, if my shoulders start creeping up to my ears, then I'm gonna drop down to those lighter weights to finish it out. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna keep repeating that to you. Good, four more, you got it, four. Be proud of yourself for doing this. Three, two, one. Nice job, bring your hands down. We're gonna bring the shoulders up and back. One more time. Let your right ear fall to your right shoulder. Left ear. and back up nice job so that was a great introduction that 10 minute workout is something that you could do a few times a week you could always do it twice through as well to give you a longer workout if you would like and it's a great introduction to using weights i will see you next time 
Thanks so much for stopping by. Remember, subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified every time a new video comes up. Like and comment on this video and let me know what you thought. You could also always come over to jessicavalantpilates.com to find all the resources I have for living a healthy lifestyle, including full length workout videos, healthy recipes, and a community I would love for you to be a part of. So I'll see you there.